It is a concept so old that it dates back to the days of Plato. Written in the first chapter of Adam Smith's Wealth of Nations, division of labor is one of the most important economic concepts known to man. It is the idea that cooperating individuals who specialize their knowledge and skills in one specific step will be more productive and profitable than one individual who generalizes their abilities throughout the entire process. What you're about to see is how one organization in small town Indiana is using division of labor to maximize production and profitability in an effort to keep children safe around the world. Emmy has been an innovator as far as child safety and child seats go. Emmy is about innovation. We design, innovate, and manufacture advanced safety systems. Safeguard is our brand of school bus seat, and we have and distributed, we're probably protecting about 700,000 kids um, today with our lap and shoulder belts on our Safeguard seats. Mm -hmm. There are so many facets that go into building one seat that you would probably never even think about. Basically, we have three cells uh, that, that one cell is dedicated to developing the cushion or manufacturing the cushion uh, where they'll take the, the foam cushion, the part that you sit on, they'll put a board on the bottom of that, put the cover that's already sewn. That usually comes from another one of our facilities, uh, but that has to be sewn together from sheets of vinyl. Uh, and then that gets put and wrapped around the cushion and stapled down onto the board. That process takes about two minutes to complete one of those cushions. The, uh, there's another cell that creates just the inner module. They're putting in all the different kinds of seat belts, putting in sometimes integrated child seats, so that we have a seat that folds out that you can sit a child in and has a regular five-point restraint like you'd see in a car seat. Um, might have latch bars, so they're taking a frame there, they're covering it, they're putting all the restraint systems on it, and then the cushion is taken over to the final cell as is the inner module, and they're combined together onto the final seat that's coming around and meeting up with it. On the final seat station, they'll take the, the seat back foam, put that on the frame, wrap the cushion, or wrap the cover around it. Um, then they'll bolt in the inner module, make all the fastening for the restraint systems, put the cushion onto the seat, onto the frame of the seat, and then you have a complete seat at that point, and then it's put in a box and chipped out. Uh, they produce, on an average day, around 60 seats. Um, they could probably go up to 120. I could probably accomplish the cushion station at about the same amount of time. <laughs> Everything else is going to double, triple, probably. Welding is a very specialized skill. Sewing is a very specialized skill. There's no question that with the right amount of training that people can you know, become apt and skilled at that, at that area but it is very difficult and probably next to impossible to go and expect a welder who does what he does so well to go jump into a sewing machine and correctly sew a vinyl cover for a school bus seat. What you have seen here is how one firm uses division of labor. We have illustrated that it would be nearly impossible to have one employee specialize in more than one area and still be as effective. We have also shown that an expert on the product could certainly not produce seats as quickly and efficiently working by himself. What we haven't shown you is the division of labor outside the walls of Emmy. Think of the division of labor in the company that provides the vinyl or steel. Or about the division of labor in the companies buying the seats. What about the logistics companies that transport the raw materials and the finished product? The amount of hands needed to produce these safeguard seats at this level of production is nearly infinite. This is division of labor. <laughs>